Ladies and gents, NETV, here with another vlog. So, yesterday, Nintendo had their digital event thing for E3, and I did not have time to record a vlog about it yesterday, and then my stomach decided to hurt me and stuff. Because my stomach hurt. But, uh, yeah, I decided to just talk about it today, and because there might be some more stuff being revealed because Nintendo is doing this live treehouse thing so if there's anything new then i'll just tack that on to the end of this vlog but so yeah this vlog is just going to be uh recapping the nintendo digital event and it was pretty awesome i must say so it first started off with some kind of robot chicken skit thing with miyamoto and reggie there was a mother three joke in there someone was asking for mother three and then reggie shot a fireball at them which I don't know. And then it actually opened up with uh, Satoru Iwata and Reggie fighting, which was actually pretty cool. And then it led to Smash, you know, Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. And it showed that you can play as your me. And there's three different kinds of characters for the me. There's um, a gunman fighter and a swordsman I believe and you can customize their movesets and there's up to 12 different combinations I don't know it, it was really cool and then then they showed off this new thing called amiibo it's like Skylanders figures but for Wii U games and Smash Bros is gonna be compatible with amiibo um Mario Kart 8 is actually gonna be compatible with it same with Mario Party 10, because they revealed that later on, and from other games, and it was all really cool, and then, well, the next thing they showed off, which was really interesting, was uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, I have a list here of things that I want to talk about, Yoshi's Woolly World, it's kind of like Kirby's Epic Yarn, but for Yoshi games, oh, excuse me, so, yeah, it looked pretty nice, and... I might get it, but I've never played any of the Yoshi games. Then next up, there's... Ooh, this one I like a lot. Uh, Captain Toad's Tre... Captain Toad Treasure Trackers. And I, I'm really excited for that, even though... Um, I know there's Captain Toad segments in Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U, but this is going to be its own game, and I'm really excited, especially since Toad is one of my favorite characters in the Mario games. And then... Well, I should save some of the better things for last. Or the things that I like the most for last. So, another thing that was revealed was Bayonetta 2. It wasn't revealed, but they showed some more stuff for Bayonetta 2, like um, Link and Samus costumes, which was really awesome. And also, uh, Bayonetta 1 is going to be included, since Bayonetta 2 is only for the Wii U, and Bayonetta 1 isn't. So, yeah. And then they showed some Hyrule Warrior stuff. Which is awesome. Of course, you can play as Link, but you can also play as uh, Zelda, Skyward Sword Impa, which is one of my favorite incarnations of Impa, and Midna, which is really cool. And the gameplay they showed off is pretty nice. It's, uh, I think it's all going to be like one screen. I don't remember what they said, but the gameplay looked really nice, and I'm probably going to be playing as Midna when I get that. And it's coming out on North America for September 26th. So, that's actually a day before my birthday. Yeah, birthday gift. Oh, and then there's going to be a Kirby game on the Wii U. I think it's a sequel to Canvas Curse or something, but I don't play Kirby games. But it did look really nice. Oh, the next thing on the list is something I'm saving for last. Oh, yeah, they also showed Pokemon stuff, but I'm saving that for later. Oh, uh, then there's going to be Mario Maker. So, you can make some custom Mario levels. They showed... Making Mario levels for the original Mario Bros. and the new Super Mario Bros. games. But there's probably going to be other games too, like uh, Super Mario World that you can make levels for. And the thing that it reminded me of was Lunar Magic, which is a program made or used to make Mario ROM hacks. Because that was, that was really popular like back when Let's Plays were starting to take off in YouTube. Like Proton John's Let's Plays, yeah. He even made some jokes about that on his Twitter. And then they showed this weird game called Splatoon. It's it's a shooter game, but it's not your typical shooter game like Call of Duty or Battlefield. 
it's you're shooting ink and you can transform into a squid to swim across your own ink it's it looks like a really fun party game and i'm probably gonna get it it's the idea is interesting but it's really weird and quirky but it, it does look fun yeah it's called splatoon and then they also showed that Palutena is going to be in Smash as a fighter, which is interesting. I don't know what her moveset is like, but I like Palutena as a character. And then the three things that I say for last. First off, there's a new Zelda game for the Wii U, as we know has been in development. But they actually showed some footage for it, and it looks amazing. It's going to be an open-world Zelda game, so kind of like Skyrim. The graphics for the game were kind of an improvement from Skyward Sword's graphics, which was, it looked really nice to begin with. And also, uh, all the footage they showed was from the game's engine. It wasn't pre-rendered or anything, which looked really nice. And they showed a character that looked like Link, but A.G. Numa said that it may not be Link. Who knows what that means. And then, they showed some Pokemon stuff, which I'm actually going to open up here. I'm on Maryland's site, because they did that. They showed some footage for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They confirmed the leaks of Omega, uh, Sceptile, and Swampert. So, let's... First off, this is what the Hoenn region looks like. Oh, battery light, okay. So, it looks really nice. And, right there... That place, that's not there in the original games, and neither is that. And there's some clouds here. There's clouds blocking the Sky Pillar. Maybe blocking the Battle Frontier. I don't know. But they look very suspicious. And then... Oh, hi, Serby. Yeah, then they showed off Primal Kyogre and Pri Primal Groudon, because uh, that's their official names. There's also an image of Roxanne, the first gym leader. So yeah, this is... This is definitely going to be a remake. We have Primal Groudon is going to be a fire ground type, which... I don't know. I mean, it gets the boost from Drought. But it's four times weak to Kyogre now, so Kyogre is going to be even more dominant. It's all... Uh, Primal Groudon's attack stat also increase. What is... Yeah. Uh, Primal Groudon's attack stat also increases. They haven't said anything else about the, yeah and it's drought ability is going to be boosted somehow and then kyogre is the same but for a special attack and for uh, the special attack is the one that's getting boosted and drizzle gets boosted somehow maybe they're going to be permanent weather abilities again but for their primal forms i don't know and it's not called mega evolution for them but it's called primal reversion which channels their original power. I like the concept, but it's pretty much mega evolution for me. More screenshots. There's the starters, Brendan and May, and again, I like Brendan and May's designs. And May's is alright, but they're my favorite protagonists in the series. Uh, Maxi and Archie in their hideout and stuff. They showed some artwork for the Primal Legendaries. And some footage as well. I think this is Tate and Liza's gym. That I think that's the Lava Ridge gym. That right there is Cycling Road, of course. That's Route 104. It's the route south of Rustboro. There's Fortree City. And then there's Artwork of Hoenn from Slateport Beach. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the last thing I want to talk about that was shown in the Nintendo Digital event is Xenoblade Chronicles X. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. And it looks amazing. So, the Xenoblade Chronicles X. They showed some gameplay footage, but I wasn't able to watch all of it. Apparently, it takes place off of Earth, and there's two giant aliens fighting each other. And Earth gets caught up in it. But yeah, the mechs look amazing. The character models could look better. But they're still working on the game. And it's actually going to be a 2015 release now. Which I'm completely fine with. 
But yeah, the mechs look great. The game looks great. I'm excited. It's going to be a day one release. More fingers are being added. It's overall going to look really good. But yeah, I just want to know how it ties into the story in Xenoblade Chronicles if it does. Because, I don't know. I'm just really excited and I've been speculating since they revealed it. And then, uh, they showed some other stuff after this, which is really interesting. I mean, uh, Star Fox was leaked for the Wii U by Time Magazine. So, yeah, there's everyone's Star Fox game, but still no Mother 3. I don't know, they might reveal it today, I'm hoping. But whatever. There's also Mario Party 10, like I said before, and Bowser is going to be a character that you control with the gamepad. I don't know how that's going to work since I haven't seen any footage for it, but mm, it's Mario Party, so it's going to be alright. And then there's going to be a lot of eShop games. I wrote on the list a piss ton of eShop games. Yeah. And then they showed some Sonic Boom stuff. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate is going to be on the 3DS. I still need to play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on my Wii U, but okay. And then uh, Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright on 3DS is going to be coming out as well, which looks pretty nice. I'm not into those games, but I might try it out. Then they showed some stuff for Pokemon Art Academy. There's a Theat Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call on the 3DS that's going to be coming out. Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto is working on two experimental IPs. One is called uh, Project Guard, which is interesting. I'll show... I, I'm not playing it right now, but the gamepad is going to be showing like 12 different security cameras where you have to guard yourself. I don't know, it's going to be interesting. And then the other one is called uh, Project Robo, where you customize and ride a giant robot. I don't know, it gives me this whole Gundam vibe, but everything does. But it looks... Oh, I haven't seen any footage for it, but it sounds interesting. And I can't wait to see where it goes from there. And what its actual name is going to be. And then there's this game called Devil's Third that's going to be on the Wii U. Um, I don't know what that is about. But, okay. And then, the last thing I have on this list is Pac-Man is confirmed for Smash. I'm confused. I mean, sure, Namco is a part of the development team, but it's still weird. I don't know. Because they did the little Smash Bros. Invitational Tournament. But, yeah. I mean, that's all the stuff I have listed down so far. But, if there's anything else that gets added on, I'm just going to talk about it in the next jump cut. Talk about weird timing. I just finished charging the battery for my camera. And then, Mega Sableye just got revealed. Okay. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre are like twice the original size. That's huge. So, it's been a few hours since the last clip was recorded, but yeah, got some. We got one more piece of news to talk about, but first, I'm having trouble signing into YouTube for whatever reason. I don't know. But, uh, the last bit of things that was revealed is this new IP called Codename Steam. At least that's what it's called now. It's probably going to be called something different when it's actually finished, but some kind of steampunk strategy game thing set in London with aliens based off Cthulhu, or uh, Lovecraft mythos. I don't know. Looks really interesting, and all the tweets about it make it look interesting. And there's gonna be a demo tomorrow, but yeah. And also, I'm wearing a sweatshirt now because it, it's cold outside. I had to go outside for something, but yeah. It's summer, it doesn't need to be cold. But, eh, yeah. Code name Steam looks pretty interesting. And you know what? I'll just end off this vlog here. So, yeah, I talked a lot about. What Nintendo had, what Nintendo had to do for E3. But, yeah. Later.